to the E to the K. No, no. Hey guys, Zara here, aka Epic Zara of Zara Nicola TV. And I've just come to bring you guys my top seven tips for growing your hair super duper long. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below what you guys would like to see next. And also be sure to share this video with all of your friends. Those are just four really easy things that I'd love you guys to do for us so that we can continue making super fantastic videos for you guys. Thank you guys so much and keep on watching. I'm going insane. Red cross, baby, come to my aid. Shawty said he busted my brain like a migraine. Your game, my game, your Five, loss, my pain. Four, Slow down, three, the way you go down. Two, you know one. now, now me they run the whole town. King of the city, cause I'm where I go crown. So keep up from bad man, but I don't bad man. I didn't impress these dogs and kill this cat. So you guys, this is what my hair looks like. Obviously, it's in this Afro state. If you guys want to see other states of my hair, you can follow me on Instagram, and it's like either here or here. I think it's right here, right? Yeah, it should be right here. <laughs> so if you guys want to see the other states of my hair, you can follow me on Instagram. But I'm going to quickly show you the length. I can't stretch it out all the way because, you know, it's quite shrunken right now. But this is just roughly what the length is. When it's fully stretched, it goes to about here, which is almost it's in between bra strap and mid back length on me. And I'm pretty tall, I'm 6'2", you guys. So anywho, let's just get right into these tips and hopefully they can help you achieve even greater length than I have. Okay guys, this is my first tip and probably the most important in my own hair regimen because until I discovered this, my hair was not really thriving. So basically, the first tip that I have for you guys is oil, oil, oil. I cannot stress this enough. Hair oil has been my saving grace. My holy grail oil actually is wild growth hair oil. I use it to hot oil treat. I use it as a pre-poo. I use it as an oil rinse. I use it for pretty much everything, you guys. It's my absolute favorite. Even in the absence of deep conditioner or conditioner, leave-in, what have you, I can get away with just water and wild growth hair oil. I also really love almond oil. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it's just a little bit light, so I feel that I have to re-moisturize more often when I use it. However, my hair really, really loves that oil, and it keeps my hair super soft. My second tip, you guys, is moisture, moisture, moisture. There's no way your hair is going to grow long if it's dry. Because at the end of the day, if your hair is dry and you're attempting to grow, it's just going to break. It's going to stunt your growth. It's not going to thrive the way it needs to. In order for one to retain length, there needs to be an adequate moisture protein balance. Moisture is super important. My hair in particular is extremely thirsty and it requires a lot of moisture. So I try to moisturize it mm, maybe two to three times a week. Now that I'm in Nigeria, I don't need to do it so often because the air here is very saturated with water. It's extremely humid, so my hair is not as thirsty as it normally is. However, if you're in a drier environment, I highly recommend having your moisture regimen on fleek. My third tip is deep conditioning. Deep conditioning is so important, you guys. If you guys want to avoid breakage and even up the moisture in your hair, then it's super, super important to deep condition. Please, I beg of you. If you want your hair to be really popping, you need to deep condition. Some of my favorite products, including deep conditioners, are in a video that I made just at the beginning of the year. I'll link it so you guys can check it out and maybe try these products for yourself and they might work. So here it is, you guys. I'll just like put the video right there. So feel free to check that out. My fourth tip and another extremely important tip, if your hair is type four like mine, then I highly, highly recommend keeping your hair stretched 70 to 90% of the time, even 100% of the time, depending on how tightly coiled your hair is, my hair texture is 4A, 4B. I know you guys are always wondering, always debating about my hair texture in the comments, but it's actually 4A, 4B. When it comes to retaining length, keeping my hair stretched, moisturized, and protected goes a super long way for me. 
Now, I must stress to you guys that while keeping your hair stretched, please avoid heat. I stopped using heat on my hair over two years ago because I got some really severe heat damage. If you guys actually want to hear about that story, please leave a comment down below and say heat damage story and I'll tell you guys about it. It was not cute. <laughs> I'm actually extremely happy that I experienced that because had I not, I would not know how detrimental heat can actually be to one who wants to grow their hair really long and really healthy, which is what I'm trying to do. My fifth tip is to protective style, you guys. Now, for me personally, my hair doesn't like a lot of tension, especially since my scalp is very sensitive. So when I protective style, I prefer to do things like wear wigs, especially crochet wigs, because under my crochet wigs, I can just keep my hair in twists, that are super detangled, super moisturized, and just continue to moisturize as my hair becomes, you know, a little bit thirsty. Along with protective styling, if you're going to wear your hair, period, it's super important to cover your hair at night, please. Or use a satin pillowcase and some satin bedding because cotton causes a lot of friction, makes hair dry, and in turn causes breakage and split ends, which are not cute. My sixth tip for you guys would be to learn your hair very, very well. What I mean by that is learn and understand what ingredients your hair loves to love and loves to hate. Now, for instance, my own hair absolutely just detests coconut oil. My hair cannot stand protein. In order to ensure that my regimen has a good moisture protein balance, I've supplemented your typical natural girl protein with Aubrey Organics Glyco Protein Balance. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. It's in my favorite products video. But basically what it is, it's a very light protein treatment. It gives my hair strength, but doesn't make it feel straw-like, which is what normal proteins do to my hair. They make my hair feel like straw. And coconut oil also makes my hair feel extremely straw-like. So I try to make sure that I give my hair the ingredients that it loves, the ingredients that are going to make it flourish. Last but not least, you guys, trim regularly, but not excessively. Contrary to popular belief, trimming will not directly make your hair grow. Like, trimming your hair, you're trimming the ends of your hair. What does that have to do with what's coming out of your scalp, right? However, if you trim your hair and get rid of splits, just like scraggly ends, damaged ends, then your hair will not have a reason to continue splitting up the shaft and your growth will not be stunted. So it's important to ensure that you trim your hair. I'd say a good amount is every three to six months, maybe even once a year. It's important to find out what works for you. I highly recommend getting a good trim schedule in your regimen if you want to see your hair grow, not just long, but also healthy. Okay, you guys, thank you again so much for watching. Please don't forget those four things I told you to do in the beginning of the video. Please be sure to thumbs up this video. Comment down below what you'd like us to do next. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and share this video with all your friends. Please let me know how you guys use these tips in your own regimen and let me know what kind of awesome growth you experience. I'll be back with more videos pertaining to hair growth because I personally am on a hair growth journey. I really want to grow my hair to a length that I've never dreamed of. For the next few months, I might do a protective style challenge. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys think I should do that, that'd be awesome. And I'll make videos that pertain to that so that we can go on this protective style challenge together and see how much hair we can grow by either the end of this year or by next year, March. Thank you so much, you guys, and God bless. Until next time, you guys. She and me, hey, now so me say See my jeep seeker She something to my set She wants to find her She be money in my place She looking at my eye harder She wants to find her She be moving so quick You never see her coming She wants to see one She had me hey, one Now so me say She wants to see one Bad man, bad man